It is one of the sharpest tools created by man. It allows shaving and hair removal while protecting the skin from large cuts that can be dangerous. Each blade goes through a long tempering process that hardens the blade to improve its hardness and resistance. But how are razor blades made? Humanity began shaving over 30,000 years ago with rocks as blades. Since ancient times, these tools have been part of men's personal care and hygiene. In ancient Egypt, the first shaving instruments were created. These were razors made using different materials such as bronze. Before entering temples, priests had to shave. Shaving tools were also created in Greece and Rome. For these civilizations, the ideal of beauty was a hairless body. Even the Romans shaved before going to wars to prevent their enemies from pulling their beards, as this could become a disadvantage. Gradually, they improved until they obtained fine-cutting razors, some of them made of iron. Over time, those who made these razors continued to work on optimizations and began using steel, but razors still posed a considerable risk of cutting. There was a great need to improve the tools. In the mid-19th century, the first barber shops emerged, and later the first two-piece razor blade with a double-edged blade and a handle that could be reused immediately was born. The product became popular, replacing the old razor. Ken Canfield manufactured the innovative razor blade, the first model that could guarantee truly efficient and safe operation. Tired of suffering cuts while shaving with traditional tools, Gillette decided to make his proposal by creating a product that was not only efficient but also disposable and economical. The personal need he had was shared with the rest of the male population, and his idea was a total success. Over time, factories made the razor blade a more sophisticated and easy-to-use product. 75% of men worldwide shave every day. With about 25,000 hairs per beard, growing at an average of 12 millimeters each month, most of these men will cut about 200 kilometers of hair during their lifetime. These blades are made from stainless steel sheets that are as thin as they are sharp. But before having their known characteristics, the steel undergoes a long process where temperatures play a key role. The material is exposed to both high and low temperatures. It also comes into contact with some specific substances. Every tiny detail intervenes to give the correct shape to each blade. This is because the manufacture of razor blades is carried out through automated processes and using the best equipment and technologies. It all starts with a strip of stainless steel, that is, an elongated, curved, and extremely thin piece that is barely a tenth of a millimeter thick. The process begins with a punching machine. The strip is introduced to punch the basic shape of the blades. The result of this process is known as preforms. At this stage, stainless steel is still a very soft and flexible material that can be compared to paper. Therefore, it undergoes a four-step heat treatment process. This makes it harden and strengthen. The first step of the heat treatment is heating the preforms to a temperature of 1,100 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. The second step is tempering. The preforms are introduced into cold water for a short time. Then, the blades pass through a cooling chamber at 50 degrees below zero for 20 seconds to reorder their molecular structure and thus harden the steel, although this also makes the material brittle. Therefore, the fourth step is heating the preforms for 20 seconds. The manufacturing process continues by taking the already hardened preforms to the printer. There, the logo or identification of the manufacturing company is stamped. Then, the wet ink drying process is done with gas flames. This ensures immediate drying. Then, another phase begins with the help of the grinding machine to make the preforms definitively turn into blades. All of them are introduced into this machine that has three grinding bases that sharpen the contour and create two extremely sharp cutting edges. Next, the blades are taken to a polishing machine to remove burrs that may remain as a result of grinding. This machine also separates the razor blades that have been united until now. Quality control begins at this point on the production line. The manufacturer's laboratory team takes samples and reviews various aspects such as the grinding particulars to verify that it is adequate. 
It also inspects the angle of the cutting edges. But quality control is not yet finished. All blades are carefully checked by technicians to determine if there is any slightest defect. The blades are grouped into batches of 800 blades, then illuminated with fluorescent light on the cutting edges. This makes any defect noticeable at a glance, and then the defective blades are discarded. The blades that pass the quality test continue the manufacturing process. They are washed with solvent to remove all possible contaminants and dried. Once the blades are clean and dry, they go to a vacuum chamber where a chrome-based bath is applied to their surface. This helps the edges achieve greater hardness and resistance to wear. Next, nozzles are used to spray a coating. This helps the razor blades glide smoothly and gently over the skin for a pleasant and safe experience. To fix the coating to the blade surface, they are baked at 350 degrees Celsius for a period of 20 minutes. After this time, another quality control phase is carried out. Then, the technical team takes samples again, in this case, to verify that the blades meet resistance requirements. A machine measures the force. It makes the blades cut a thick wad of wet paper, reaching a certain depth level. When this aspect has been checked, the blade production process continues. The razor blades are immersed in organic oil for half an hour. The goal is to add extra protection to prevent corrosion. This extends the useful life, and the user has a quality product for a longer time. Then the packaging chain begins. Each of the blades is individually wrapped in wax paper. This paper also offers protection to the blades against corrosion during storage time. The paper is strong enough to prevent the blade edges from cutting or piercing it when packaging is finished. Razor blades are distributed to different points for marketing. Each blade has approximately a useful life equivalent to six shaves. Many men believe that the traditional razor blade provides the closest shave. They are as thin as paper but sharp enough to cut the thickest beard. Like the video if you liked it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating notifications to keep learning.